Happy Halloween, everybody. It's Rob from Playthroughs, and welcome back to Gundam Breaker 4. For today's episode, I decided to make Simon Belmont, but specifically Simon Belmont from Castlevania 2, which I liked as a kid a lot more than it probably actually deserves. So uh, let me walk you through everything here and show you what I have done. Um, Levels on this are a little bit lower overall, so we'll hope it doesn't struggle too much, but it also has a larger arsenal than most anything else I've built lately. So, all right, first up, uh, I went with the Jim Custom head. The color breakdowns work pretty well. For Simon Sprite, he has black hair and a very pale flesh-toned face. It moves more or less the same color of white as the gloves and boots, as I recall. But just kind of the Jim Custom's like abstractness really kind of works to help it favor the Sprite. Uh, likewise, his uh, the body is very similar, actually, to the kind of uh, you know outfit that Solaire is using. It's supposed to be more, you know, like a suit of armor over uh, than like a tunic or anything like that. But uh, just in terms of how it looks, the uh, Dom's uh, torso one out again works pretty well, I think. Uh, the arms, again, just for the kind of shoulder uh, pads he has, I wanted something you know relatively relatively uh, simple that had a, roughly the right shape and for that what we had the gin which yeah nice uh, nice straightforward arms uh, Gun and Mark II legs worked out pretty well I wish I could get the tops of the the same color as the rest of the boots but they are linked to the thighs for whatever reason uh, but uh, yeah uh, it, it gave the uh, armor skirt about the length I wanted the breakdown was otherwise pretty decent for the colors. I, I think it worked okay. The backpack is invisible, but is Gun Virtue's backpack because I, uh, well, I'll explain when I get to uh, skills and all. Uh, like I said, this is based specifically on Castlevania II Simon's quest, and Simon's uh, uh, equipment was a little bit different there than in other Castlevania games. So. Um, I have got the GN Sword 2 rifle mode because the Golden Dagger was his final power-up of the knife weapon, which was one of a handful of ranged options you got to use in that game. Uh, like I said, th there were a few, and they were not really the typical Castlevania things. There's no boomerang cross, there's no, uh, uh, there's no axe. There is holy water, but I couldn't figure out how to best represent that. And there was, and in terms of like throwing weapons, there was another option that I uh, had that I uh, figured would work better. So, uh, let's see. For the uh, close range weapon, it had to be the Gundam Hammer, but uh, the final upgrade in Castlevania 2 is the Flame Whip, which I managed to put a nice pattern on here with different levels of glow, which I think just represents that really well. Uh, left close range weapon is none. I had an axe there at first, but I remembered that in Castlevania 2 there is no axe, so it's gone. Uh, the shield, the blade shield is, uh, is, uh, the sh uh, Simon's shield in that game is Dracula's ribcage, so I feel like the blade shield with the, uh, nifty texture I managed to get on it kind of represents that as well as we're gonna get. Uh, now for builder's parts. Uh, again, I had neck problems. The Dom's uh, head, of course, is supposed to be set pretty well into the torso. The Jim Customs is not, and Simon does have an actual neck, so I kind of need to represent that. So uh, his neck in this case is an, another A-type sensor, as I have done before when necks were necessary. I have hidden a pair of dragon heads inside his arms. I shrank them so small that they are barely sticking out of his uh, forearms. You can see a little bit of it right there. But I wanted the weapon, but I did not uh, uh, need need them, you know, visible in the build. Um, I have a cracker. That texture is the best I could come up with to get close to garlic, which is one of his throwing weapons. It just sits on the ground and uh, damages anything that uh, gets close to it. And I want to get a close-up on this, because I was really happy with how this turned out. Uh, the rocket anchor represents the oak stake, which is not actually an offensive weapon in the game, but a tool you use to uh, 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 obtain the uh, parts of Dracula that you're trying to get together to put together and bring him back so you can kill him again and be free of the curse. But 
I took a zebra stripe pattern and managed to modify it using the, you know, using the in-game uh, tools. And between the modification of the colors and the, you know, tiling of the uh, pattern, I think that came out as a really good wood grain. I am really happy with that. Every every once in a while, I just keep come, uh, finding, you know, fun new things you can do in this game, and I love it. All right, so EX skills. Uh, Trans Am is just there because that comes with uh, the Gun and Virtues backpack, which I needed for a different thing, which won't let me zoom out on this menu. Oh, well. GN Cannon, likewise, is part of that Virtue backpack, so... But at least I have some EX actions to fall back on. Uh, the Yeah, one of the... Uh, one of the uh, weapons Simon has in Castlevania 2 is a flamethrower that just works like the uh, like the holy water kind of did. You throw it on the ground, it becomes a pillar of flame. Closest I can really get to that here is the flamethrowers on the dragon head. So, again, they're, you know, deep down as deep down in the arm as I can get them. Still peeking out a little bit right at the corner of the glove, but they're there. Yeah, and the rocket anchor is from the stake. Uh, the cracker is, like I said, the garlic. And the GN field is because uh, one of his other weapons in uh, Castlevania 2 is the Laurel, which uh, provides temporary invincibility. Which, since there's otherwise swamps that uh, just are really hell to get through, constantly doing you damage and making you slow, the Laurel solves both of those problems. Uh, yeah, so the GN field represents that. And this is just kind of the leftovers. I've got the John, Adam's chest beam cannon because it's there. Head Vulcans and the Jin's arm tackles. Yeah, like uh, cannon weapons on page one, non-cannon weapons on page two. I just changed the ability cartridges to triple its hit points because I figure I'm probably going to need that since this, like I said, I, I powered up the whip with the last of my uh, upgrade materials just now. But otherwise, yeah, it is not as high level as the things we've been playing. So... We're going to take this through the next stage, see what uh, what mission Misa has in mind. And yeah, that will do it. All right, so story. And recommended parts level 40. All the weapons are on. Here's the Penelope. Good. Um, let's see. And some new uh, builder's parts as well. Yeah, we'll use a breaker booster again. And let's do it. I'll be interested to see how this works out. I, I uh, you know, like I said, I haven't been able to le level the parts much except for the weapons, so. All right, so. Okay, gang. I found our next mission. All right, she's got a mission for us. That's great, Misa. Did they have the one you were And set the dialogue to auto since I can't hear it. Uh -huh. I didn't feel like wearing headphones again, so. Just let the conversation flow naturally while I blather about it. Okay, so Misa has plans. And she knows exactly what she's doing. And maybe she does. To improve teamwork and deepen the bond between teammates. Okay. How does that work? I'm concerned. Okay, yeah, so basically this is probably going to be a uh, Breaker 3 mission. All right, let's see what we're doing. So I figured it'd be perfect for us. Couldn't agree more. And I'd love to deepen my bond with Give it you up, you. dude. Say, just the two of us? Please. No one else to get in our way? No, I'd like to keep our relationship yep, the way There it you is. go. You 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 could not get anything more straightforward than this. So just what do you have in mind for this mission, Misa? Well, first there's me, obviously. Okay, then yep, I was me. right. Misa, Misa, Lynn, and me. That's fine. Come along. But wait, why mm. me and him? Okay, so. I think he knows. Okay, yeah, so she's trying to play matchmaker because this is a mission similar to the one that she probably uh, uh, See, did, with the, uh, did with the did with the Pro Tag of Breaker Three, so. See what's going on. There's no need to be embarrassed about your feelings, Lynn. Wow, me 
to the matchmaker. And you? How long has this been going on? How long on? has this been going on? Good question. Don't. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna play dumb. Yeah. Do you really not get it? She? Come on, you two. We're doing. All right, let's go do a mission. Uh. Okay. A little late for the bashful routine, isn't it, Lynn? No, I don't. I don't think it's a routine. I think, yeah. Just... I told you it's nothing, okay? Ugh, come on, let's just go. All right, let's see what's going. And let's see how this build works out. I, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty happy with how the weapons have turned out, how useful they're going to be. I have no way of knowing until we get in there, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I really like the texture on the shield and the, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, stake, but I also tried a little bit of texturing on the garlic, but I, it's kind of hard to get a garlic texture, I, I, especially on something small and not exactly garlic shaped like the cracker so i, I wasn't really sure where to go all right we are starting with the extraordinarily superior gundam and i'm maybe getting knocked around but hey that part has me with almost 500,000 hit points so i don't think that's the worst news Let's see yep okay the double that i think that's the first time i've used both flamethrowers on uh, a single attack and it, i like it let's put the water all up I will eventually uh, go back to using its correct name, I promise, but yeah, you know, that is the intent, so. Okay, Cracker, yeah, I'm already back to real names. And let's try, let's try some fire. It's fire. Doesn't seem to do a lot, but yeah, put, again, you know, it seems like getting, as long as you uh, raise up your main weapons a lot, you can do fairly well with it, especially... Especially since the uh, whip hits everything for, you know, miles around. So. Okay, this is a target mobile suit stage, so let me go over here and get a couple of things together. And just, uh, yeah, just take out, uh, take out the side things, especially since they're Gundam Sentinel side things, and I would not mind better parts for my Zeta Plus C1. I like the Zeta Plus C1. Finally got the high grade kit, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't gotten around to a lot of things. And, yeah, taking damage, but nothing I can't survive most of, so. Okay, that was kind of a neat move, so. Fire. And fire let Lin uh, and Misa take, uh, get some hits in, so that's good. And now let's just finish it off. Hey, that's the first of five, and it took me two minutes. That's not great. Well, here is a new gun, a high new Gundam. Of, which I was last video. So. Now, by the time you see this, the second week of DLC will be out. So, I uh, yeah, let's use some skills and set some fires. Okay, one thing I would like to see in future updates is for certain skills, mostly like large beams and fire and fire and things like that, to all have better tracking. That is definitely a problem i've been having man the, wow the whip is just everywhere when you when you use trans am with it uh, it's great okay more fire yeah i have a feeling that the uh i'm feeling the fire uh damage is probably based on the overall power of your uh gun plot, which again a little bit low get uh since the only thing that has a lot of uh levels here is the gun but yeah, Gundam Hammer's doing the work, so I can't really complain too much. Garlic and fire. Yeah, like I said, needs better tracking. It was just straight up out of range this time, I get that, but... Okay, it looks like the shoulder check uh, you get when you're, you're unarmed. For one, hits pretty hard, and for another, uh, does just take down a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the uh, invulnerability gauge. Okay, now we've got Fenix. 
and adjust a cannon. Which we set on fire. Slightly out of fire range. I've got I've got the grapple in, in the uh, rocket anchor. I need to start using it before I start uh, the fire. There's a nightingale. Watch me get like a full master grade nightingale and not have gotten that. It's not like I'm doing anything with those points, so it's not a huge deal. Um, let's speed this process up a little. Times two. There we go. There we go. Fight fire with fire. No, they're they're not using fire, I'm using fire, so fight, you know, everything's with fire. Phoenix, get it out of my life. One, two, three. Bumps down. Yeah, that shoulder check's good. Okay. Fire again. Yeah, the fire ain't so much. I was not expecting the world, but that's I you know, that's maybe a county suburb, something like that. Not it's not much anyway. Okay, could I go fight the thing over there? Cracker just went right on by. Okay, I didn't realize the whip had a launcher, but I'll take that. I knew it had a grab, but launcher is new. Okay, that's down, so yeah, everything else will disappear. We have a minute and a half to kill two things. Don't know about my uh, chances, but here are she Gunnam and Penelope. Oh, put my best foot forward, and hopefully through them. Stop knocking me down. Groove. Also need my arm back if you can't make any enemies. Gen cannon's not bad, that's for sure. Yeah, I should use that grapple more because it does, of course, uh, in addition to everything else, stun. So, stuns to get done. Grand Am. Gen field's ready again. I'll put that up again as well. Skip the. We'll skip the uh, fire. I don't think it's really to my benefit here. Yeah. Definitely, the whip and, and Trans Am together are a pretty good combination, I'd say. Come on, get up. Thank you. I guess I need feet. Feet are usually useful to getting up. All right, now. Okay. Yeah, it's got three bars. I am not going to make the timer on this one, unfortunately, but that's okay. I will do good damage. I will get Penelope chunks. It'll all be good. Again, I'm in no danger of getting killed because I have 440,000 hit points. Over, I'm overestimate. Oh, no. I'm not going to use... Uh, since I'm already overestimate, I'm not going to use Awaken when it becomes available, because I want to just save that for the next stage. But yeah, uh, using Trans Am to keep the uh, damage, you know, coming higher, or, you know, coming faster, definitely useful. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah, I, I still am not fully familiar with the particulars of the whip because I haven't used it very much, but it does seem pretty handy, so I can't complain. There we go. Is that it? That's it. That's wave one done. Master grade she gun to man. Ten breaks S time A. That's not bad. Okay. On I will next. probably, if I can end up with S's for the rest of it, I will probably still uh, make S rank for the stage. Not the end of the world if I don't, obviously, but wouldn't mind getting a, another breaker booster, keep the, a number constant. All right, what do we got? The best is a good offense. Well, I, despite this being a Halloween episode, I'm looking very Christmassy right here. And I'm going to save... No, I'm not going to save it. Do it. That way I can just uh, use it now, do more damage, get this sped up, and hopefully... Uh, Get, uh, get words out of my mouth, uh, get 
the gauge refilled by the time we get to the end of the wave. That's the dream, anyway. We'll find out. Oh, you have a GN field or something similar as well. Rude. Running low, so... Okay, yeah. Yeah, it seems like above a certain level of power when you... Uh, when you... Uh, use the grab with the whip, it'll take you to them instead. I think it... Ha I have a feeling it uh, depends on the... Uh, Depends on the uh, relative strengths of the uh, suits in question. Like I said, the suit a little bit low on uh, on levels outside of the. Uh, so. There we go. Didn't quite have time to smack the bear guy, and now we have got them Helios. I think it is. If I can get to it. I can it's right here. Well, the anchor started to grab it and bring it to me. That's not bad. I'm going to need some more uh, EX gauge before I can uh, re-engage Trans Am. Getting it fairly quickly, though. That's good. Yeah, everybody rush me so I can get my Trans Am on. There we go. Run that. Smack that. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, it looks like if I'm holding still, I get uh, heavy attacks with the whip that don't necessarily pull, which is not the bad news. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm almost ready for... Okay, there's uh, Sengoku Astray again, I believe. And I'm almost ready to go back to Tram Dam. Right, fire, he's too far away fire, not too far away to get grappled, and there's the Trans Am, and let's go. Stop it. I hit you. That's how this game works. Only one person does the hitting, and it's me. It's in the manual somewhere. Lighting... From the look of things, I will have Awaken available again by the time I get to the last uh, boss, which, or to the last phase of the stage, I should say, because I expect that to be next. Yeah, this is the third of uh, five targets. I'm almost certain the last one will be, will be the last two together. There we go. All right, so. We have got uh, Age 2 Magnum, I think it is, which is the uh, kit. I believe that's the kit that came in clear plastic form with the uh, Gundam, new Gundam Breaker uh, uh, Collector's Edition. I've, ne I've never built it, but I do have it, so that was uh, good. Uh, you know, good to have. that. I think that was a wrong star that got uh, that for me, and I do appreciate it. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. New Breaker was what New Breaker was, but it's oh yeah, Awakening time. But yeah, it's. Uh, you know, I'm still glad to have that because you know supporting, you know supporting U.S. releases for Gundam games is something I do want to do. I would always, of course, prefer that they be good Gundam games, as would we all. But uh, yeah, uh, luckily Breaker Four definitely uh, fits that bill. Also, I kind of like the uh, colors on the uh, Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, so that's, you know, not uh, not breaking my heart. Okay, get in there. I feel like uh, Breaker 3 had a little bit more of a, uh, like, pattern on the Trans Am. Like, it just, it had the, like, after-image effect. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. That could be very easily true. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I just didn't notice because I was too busy mashing square. Also, I, uh, because you stay red when you're in Trans Am, I didn't notice my Awaken Gauge drop, so I did not use Burst Breaker. That was good. That's okay. This is the last one, and I've got a minute and a half to finish it off, which I think ought to do the trick. So. Themes. And 
grapples. I am out of EX, so I'm just going to have to uh, just keep swinging. It still swings pretty fast, even being, you know, out of Trans Am, so that's good. And let's see. Grapple, be in the field, more swinging. I've got a minute to go to. Oh, I need my arm back. Of course, the backpack becomes visible when I'm using its uh, any of its abilities, including the GN field, so well, all of a sudden Simon's got weird shoulder things. That's okay. The grapple. No, at least stopped it, which is good. I think the grapple itself probably only works when the vulnerable gauge is uh, empty, so... Well, almost there, plenty of time, that did it. Alright, so... Almost ready to go Trans Am again. And, yeah, we're okay, not doing bad. On to the next one. We will do... We will finish this up and see what's what. Alright, what is what? Hmm. Boss approaching. Large or large? What are we? I don't even recognize this thing. But it is sure... Okay, it's the re-rising Gundam. Yeah, I haven't watched uh, I haven't watched uh, Build Divers Rerise, so that makes very much sense for uh, why it would uh, not be recognizable to me. That said, I feel like the hammer is going to be fantastic for this because it's huge, and it uh, I'm going to hit so many hit locations at once if all goes well. Just uh, hopefully escape. Didn't take a lot of damage, either. but yeah, with the bosses, the grapple weapons definitely just take you to them instead of. Them. Which again, I don't, I don't mind, because yeah, getting close enough to hit every hit location in the world, not bad. And boy, yeah, GN Field just did some work for me. And grenade, is it down? Is it is down? Right. Well, we're gonna waste a uh, GN cannon there to do as much damage as we can while it's sitting down. Turn it back. And. We have done one bar of this. We have three minutes to kill it, which, yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to make the uh, estimate on this. Oh, wow, hi. That was a lot of fireballs. I'm glad, uh, glad that was not like an instant kill move or anything dumb. Oh, GN Field's back again. That's good. I'm almost ready for Awakening again. But, yeah, I think putting, putting you know, quadrupling my hit points and uh, putting parts on and, you know, putting... Uh, stuff on was smart so let's let's do this and just swing 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 i'll even try a little fire i don't expect much out of it but it's there and it's fire so okay we're down we're it's two and a half bars down that's not bad trans in back for faster attacks yeah you keep you keep thrashing around that's fine I'm gonna keep hitting you I know it's going to happen. I'm going to hold my... Uh, no, let's do Burst Breaker now. Okay, yeah, that's that was some good damage. I was about to say, I'm going to hold it until uh, the thing is ready to go off screen somewhere and, and, and end up whipping. But no, I have not done this. Okay, it's down to half health. I fully expect it will start uh, doing... Okay, I think I ran out of boost or just... Yep, I was about to say, I, I think it's going to have a shield soon. And it does. That. Ow. Big whoop. Real location hit. Okay. Fairy tail, which... If it's not based off the bound dock, it sure looks like it could have been. Yield back up. Grab. I think I grappled right into the spin, which was not my intent. But intent only gets you so far. Ow. Thank you, GN Field. Thank you, GN Field again. Yeah, this seems to be, you know, it's the ha it's the hammer and the uh, Virtue Gundam's backpack together doing all the work, but this seems to be a relatively effective build. Yeah, I am already over the estimate, though, so, yeah, I'm betting between this and the first uh, section. Ow, can I guard? Oh, can't guard once you're already flinching. Yeah, I'm healed now. Fire two, because why not? Okay. 
smash it to bits if we can. Decentish damage. Also not bad. I think next time I might uh, try using that when it's uh, down. Well, mile down. Again, let's get closer and see if I can get that that uh, target on the tail. Not really. Let's just swing that. Oh, hey, it's down. Well, I said I was gonna. Okay. Well, not the world, but decent. That and more swings. Okay, yeah, I do. I don't. Yeah, I, like I said, I haven't watched uh, Build Divers Re Rise, so I never saw this thing before. Oh, wait. I like the fire tornado. Can I have some? Can I do that? Or do I have any perks that will do that for me? I like them. I care not for your fire tornado. I have a whip. Okay. I am going to go for this now, because I, I was hoping it would be enough for a kill shot. It wasn't. That's fine. I'll keep going. Get here. Oh, yeah, as far as I can tell, like, if you, uh, you know, if you attack parts that aren't, like, in wireframe, they, they you get more damage, I think. So. Thank you, Grapple. Inferno, get with it. Okay. That's a neat looking uh, effect, I have to admit. I mean, this actually turned out pretty well because, honestly, like an effect like that looks like something Dracula would do. So, I'll take that. Yeah, I took I took maybe 50k damage, but that's not the world right now. So, yeah, the, like I said, this uh, this build a little bit underpowered in places, so it's not, uh, not really... Uh, doing as much as I'd like. You know, rest of the stage it was doing all right, but it really does show here against the boss. All right. Didn't mean to do fire, but it was there. Almost got the thing. Okay, it's down, good. Let's do this. Let's hit it with all the beams. That was good beams. Grenade, grapple, and just swing like crazy. Ooh, lens almost down. Sent out a heal, but I don't think I was uh, close enough. Ooh, that's cute. When the Mies are both hurting, I'm not uh, in danger, but. Ah, I'm feeling it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, S and C. Yeah, this will probably be an A overall, A or B. Wasn't quite the same as you remember. Yeah, I don't think the re in Gundam was in Breaker 3. If it was, it was in DLC I never got. Yep, instead of, uh, instep, instead of helping uh, Lynn uh, get together with the Protag here, she wound up thinking about her own protag, I think. So, not uh, quite what was intended. All right, let's see. The overall rank is... Come on. Want to know. Yes! Okay, I'll take it. That gets me everything. Including a left arm for the Penelope. Of course, getting at least one part of something means it's available in the shop, I believe. All right, age two magnum... Let's see. Uh, Nightingale's Beam Tomahawk. Let's see. What about here? Just looking to see. Yeah, I did get the Penelope's Beam Rifle. Nice looking. Let's see. Yeah, two of them in Master Grade. Head. All sorts of uh, heads for things I already had. And also, okay, no Penelope head. I did get the torso, though. I wonder, I wonder if it can do the uh, do the cast off thing. I wonder if it can if you can switch between the standard uh, uh, form and the Gundam underneath. I think that has its own name though, so probably. Not. I don't remember what that name is off the top of my head, but yeah, I believe it's its own 
model. Okay, one of the Penelope arm, which... Okay, oh yeah, one's master grade, one's high grade. It's like, why is the Penelope arm so tiny? Is it a T-Rex? It's not a T-Rex. The other arm. Nightingale bits. Well, five-star level 31 Nightingale arm, not bad. No Penelope legs. Nightingale legs, but only high grade. Backpacks. Penelope's backpack, which is kind of looks like a dragon in and of itself. All right. Shields. Chobham shield for the uh, one. Of the, I think it's for the beginning 30. Using Lev A. I don't know. Well, not quite sure what that goes for, but uh, I've had like the custom part versions of it forever. Nightingale shield. Plastic up to level four. I still need to uh, farm that. Nothing worth having there or there. Um, gauge capacity for less homing. Nah, that's a good one. Hit point recovery, item drop rate uh, in the positives. That's not bad. Ditch that. Terrible. Not terrible. Not worth it. Might be worth it. Keep it for now. Keep that. That's not. Definitely not. Uh, nah. Might be. Let's keep it. If I'm getting a little uh, quiet. I apologize. I'm also getting a little hoarse, so it is time to uh, time to wrap this up. So, let's see what the uh, closing scenes are, and then uh, we will call it for today. Load a little faster. There we go. Okay. Good work, you two. Work, thank you. So, how was it? Did you guys deepen um, your bond? What are you talking about? You said it wasn't. Said it wasn't. Oh shoot! Was I a third wheel? Maybe next time I should give you kids more space. Yeah. I will be so angry with you. People do these things in their own time. Just yell at me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's her teenage rebellious mm. phase. Oh, she's growing up so fast. No, seriously, you are embarrassing her. If, if she has Why anything to tell so me, so she can tell me when Lynn she's yelled at her? Not that Women it matters, because this is all creatures, Tao. You'll understand in time. Yeah, no. La last so person I would ask. Literal last life. person I would ask. Out of these people Perfect. on the screen. It looks I, like everyone's like, I would ask Mr. Gunpaw first. Okay, here's Meister Jin. Pardon the interruption, and but Artal. We must speak with you. Meister, Artal, long time no see. All right, what do we got? No, you look Something serious. Wrong? What happened? Is something wrong? Lillen, something, something has happened. happened. Oh, boy. I need your help. Huh? All right, we're going to leave it on that cliffhanger, aren't we? We are indeed. All right, so no uh, new emails since we're basically still in the middle of the scene. So, yeah, that is going to uh, do it for uh, today's Gun and Breaker 4. Happy Halloween, everybody. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later.